Captain's Log, April 8th, 2020. It is week, uh, whatever this is, of COVID quarantine, uh, I think five or something. I can only tell time is passing because new episodes of Westworld keep coming out. This was forecasted to be our darkest hour in the curve. They're reiterating how important it is that everybody absolutely stay home right now, like not even going for a bike ride kind of thing. Anyways, if you watched last week's episode, you'll see that I went through the apartment's footage to foil Andres' half-baked April Fool's Day prank. But in going through that footage, I noticed some discrepancies. I don't know how much I should be sharing about this in such a public forum. I haven't talked to Andres about this because he will think that I'm crazy or worse. I don't even know how much I can be saying out loud right now. <laughs> I'm going to say it. Andres is a robot. The signs have been there all along. Hey Sarge, can I tell you a secret? I love you so much more than Andres loves you. Well, I love you 69 times more than that. Uh-uh. I love you 69 times more than even that, which is like a million, so I win. A million is nowhere near 4,761. The fuck? He didn't even flinch when getting a haircut from an unqualified stylist. Who? Oh. What happened? That's not normal. This, this is normal. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Okay, we're done. <laughs> Look, I already know what you're gonna say. Obviously, I've thought of the erotic possibilities of two Andreses, but I'm still in shock. Obviously, I did not know my partner as well as I thought I did. Did I? I reached out to a couple friends, people I trust. Hey, what's up, Rainier? Hey, what's up, man? Um, can, can you hear me okay? No, it's quarantine. Yeah, can, can you hear me all right? I don't want Andres to hear me. I need to talk to you about something. Okay, what's up? Um, okay, yeah, I, you're gonna think I'm fucking crazy and that's fine. Maybe I just need someone to tell me that I'm fucking crazy. You already know you're crazy. What's the business? <laughs> I, 100% not kidding, am thinking that Andres might be a robot. Oh my God. That's my ex-wife. Oh this is serious as shit. Like, you're in danger. Wait, what? Whatever you do, you cannot let him know that you're on him, okay? okay. That motherfucker is gonna try to hug you. It's actually not so bad dating a robot. They give great hugs. Although it is tempting to get emotional during such scary times, we have to remain scientific. We do not want to jump to the wrong conclusions. Here's the iRobot test. Conspiracy Tonight with Brandy Rogers. The most effective test to determine if someone is a robot would have to be the iRobot test, where you ask the subject, who is the hero of iRobot? And if they answer, obviously Will Smith, then you know you've got a non-human, humanity-hating robot on your hands, and they should not be trusted. Now that you know they're non-human, you have to specifically verify that they are a robot and not some other life form like an alien, clone, changeling, or just simply under some kind of third-party coercion. Oddly enough, robots are completely incapable of grasping certain types of humor, specifically innuendo. Furthermore, they have zero ironic capacity. Ooh, so what? <laughs> That's what she said. Who? What? That's what who said? And they have mind control powers through their sex apps beyond your wildest fears. But most importantly, do not let them hug you. I 
I had to call my life coach, Rachel. Hey, he failed, he failed, he failed. What do I do? Wait, he failed the iRobot test and that's what she said? Rachel, this isn't safe. I, we need to break quarantine. I, I have to come stay with you for a couple days. We can't. Rachel, Has this... he hugged you yet? What? Has he hugged Rachel, you're breaking up. I can't hear you. Why Rachel, you Rachel, I can't. Are you? Wait. Honestly, I think the internet went out. I know. Thank God we have a dog so I could sneak outside for a second. But look, I, I don't I don't think that Andres means me any harm. Because he goes so much deeper than any of that. You see, I've come to the realization that we are living in a simulation. And Andres is nice. a robot. Uh, 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 what are you doing? <laughs> nothing, just vlogging. I'm worried about you. Come here. Give me a hug. <laughs>